different is Rimlux. Coming at you now with a 38 and a half week bump right here. I feel like it's not that much bigger than the last video, but I mean, he's definitely putting on the pounds now. <laughs> he's just like getting his fat, which is good and needed. The crib and the changing table came in. So here is first of all his crib. I love this color. It's like a blue gray with this little bit warmer wood tone. And then for his little sheets, we have these little racing rabbit, which I think is so cute. And then we have this fur rug here. Houston loves this rug. And here we have a little airplane blanket with the little Strife musical teddy, just for like decoration right now, setting it there. When he's in there, he won't have that, but. And then to take a look over here, this is like the biggest change. On this wall so his changing station here which is obviously the same as his crib and then this we got separately so I really like this wood under here and then we have this to cover it which has this like woodland theme to it I have to shut the blinds and then we put up these two shelves I made this little guy by the way just by hand sewing nothing fancy here we have a wonderful book called Little Dream by Celeste. It's a really gorgeous book. I posted about it before. And then a little book of flying. And we have this basket. I don't know if this will stay here, if we'll get like an open one that will have like his essentials here, which I mean like diapers and wipes and stuff we can store in here. And then I ended up just going with the Ikea mirror. This one was 89 euros as opposed to like very expensive ones from other places that I don't even know if they're like trustworthy sites. So this one has this metal edge. It's huge, it's a huge mirror. And for just 89 euros, like for the size of this thing, it's really nice. And then some little stars there. This is actually um, from an Etsy shop. And this has, it's an old German book. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Okay, fresh battery. So as I was saying, so here it is an old German book, which I thought was really special. And then I have this plant and the stand used to be downstairs. And then I just stuck one of these little baskets there. We do have a shelf that I wanna put up here and then put those things on the shelf. Dennis's mom actually made this for the baby. Of course, we have this wall that you've already seen with this cactus and the Steif Teddy. I did get this muslin cloth is new the benefits went to the Ukrainian people in need and then here we have this blanket I love this the underside is this pretty blue so I think that'll be really nice it's super soft do these ruffles hide the fact that I have huge cankles now <laughs> um, I also I really like this dress it's I didn't get too many maternity dresses but I got these earrings from a local Etsy shop I thought that they were fun and just a little something. I did expect them to be bigger based off the other earrings in her shop. Um, she didn't have the measurements on there, but I actually think they ended up being a really nice size. And then once the baby comes, then hopefully he won't pull on them because they're not so big. But yeah, a little like fan. I thought they were cute. I also got my hair done this last week, which is really good. I really needed it. I hadn't gotten it done since I got pregnant. so. I was like in desperate need, but I wanted to wait until it was getting closer to my due date. And one more look at this other maternity dress that I got. I love the colors of this. I think it's so pretty. The sleeves are really long for me, which is rare. I have long arms. I love the colors for spring. It's perfect for Easter, although he will be here before Easter. So <laughs> trying to wear these and get my use out of them now. I am no small lady with this bump. <laughs> I used to tell Huey, the, our dog, that I'm a big mama with my big belly. Okay, I'm at the kitchen table now and changing gears a little bit. So I follow this woman on TikTok who I think she was an elementary school teacher or still is. And then she makes art on the side also. And she does like really easy to follow art, like anybody can do it style of art. And her art projects are always super cute. There's like some of them are a bit crafty. And um, so if you have kids, 
Like this would be a great person to follow for inspiration there. Um, and I saw a piece that she did that I thought would be perfect for the baby's room. It's very colorful and bright. Okay, her name is Andrea Shringley Nelson. I cut out a whole bunch of tissue paper hearts and they're all different sizes. We're gonna put them on a canvas just with plain water to start. This is she so fun? I ordered a pack of tissue paper with all these beautiful colors and I was debating between, I have two canvases. So I have this really big one or this smaller one. These are the two options. So I'm gonna go big. Let's get to work. <laughs> is finished or I'm calling it good and I have a couple takeaways first of all I did a big canvas and if you're like working with kids it's probably better with kids to do it on a smaller canvas but if you're an adult whatever um, don't use this type of brush on any of it after I used I first used this one for the water and then after that to do like the glue and water mixture I tried this one it rips it don't do it but I would actually recommend instead of doing just water at first, doing the water and glue right away. And then once they start to get, you start like overlapping and they start to get a little bit wet, start in the middle of the heart and drag your way out. Um, my tissue paper started bleeding into the other colors, which it's okay, but it looks a little bit messier than hers did. Um, and you have to work kind of fast if you just do the water and then the glue and water over it. Once they the hearts start to dry, they're gonna peel up a little bit. If you're doing it with a kid, I'd recommend cutting up a whole bunch of hearts ahead of time. That's like the tedious part, just to help the process go faster. But you could do like not hearts, but just like random shapes, even rip tissue paper and do like little rips. It would still be pretty. If you're doing it with a kid, be aware that they are going to rumple it up and it will like fold in on itself just a thought there because mine like we're doing that oh and make sure that you put newspaper or something down because it will stain your desk or table if the wet tissue paper gets on it so i'm like okay that's a good lesson as well so a couple takeaways there but i mean it's for the baby's room so it's okay that it looks a little bit messy i have a bit to clean up here on the table a bit of a mess but this is the final product so i just use glue and water over it and i think it's fun i would recommend it for anybody go for it okay it's the next day and i did try out the smaller canvas i did two things differently with this one i first of all used instead of the water first i just did the glue and water mixture which I do think worked better to keep them down so they didn't fold over on each other as much. And then the other thing, on the other one I tended to put like the yellows and lighter colors, like the greens down first. And on this one, I did more of the darker ones first. 
And then I put like the yellow ones on top and stuff, but you can just see a little bit of a difference here. I still got a little bit of bleeding, which I think it looks pretty even with that. And it looks artistic having these, you know, together like that, like it's okay. I think it looks nice. So just another thought there.